Wow, ex-husband here, a lawyer, got caught up in a murder for hire plot against his wife, ex-wife, over the two kids that they had together. God bless her family and friends. Dang. He spilled the beans to an undercover FBI agent who he believed was a hitman. He originally tried to have his ex deported in 2022, but after finding out it would cost him $100,000, he decided to go with the cheaper option and try to have her killed. And all of this began over a custody battle for their children. Joining us to talk about it, David Seto, his divorce with five children, and Demetrius Walker, who is divorced with 10 children. <laughs> Woo, we're on a roll. We're on a roll. He's divorced with one child. All right. But to hear a story like that, can a divorce get that ugly in your perspective where you're like, you have these thoughts, like, let's make this easier. Not that you've had it, but for those out there. You know, Isaiah, I think there's no one on earth that can make you as angry as the mother of your child as a man. I can tell you that for sure. So I can understand those emotions run high, especially when you're trying to be in your children's life and you have someone on the other side opposing everything that you do and making your character out to be worse than it might be. Uh, I can understand how, you know, people's uh, tempers will flare and anger boils over. And how do you maintain your control where you don't lose it? You know, uh, my what I would do is I would go turn on zero. I hate you. <laughs> and I listen to that on repeat, you know, so that I wouldn't do anything out of character. <laughs> All right, David, let's hear from you. Your thoughts on Man, this. Man, listen, in, in the words of the great prophet Johnny Taylor, it's cheaper <laughs> to keep her, right? You do, by all means, like I, I firmly believe in, in trying to save the marriage. Now, mind you, I'm divorced, but uh, my, my uh, the, ki the mother of my kids, we have a phenomenal relationship and we worked really hard to actually cultivate that relationship mm -hmm. right it wasn't just something that just happened um this particular story though like i just cannot see like there's no excuse for that type of behavior like how can somebody make you that mad that you just want to take them out especially the mother of your kids mm -hmm. right um I, I don't know like this guy probably didn't even i, I don't even know if this is the guy do you decide between is this person angry Furious or just evil? Well, because he also wanted to have her deported right. as well. He was trying all. He was trying yeah. to pull out all the stops, right? Um, mind you, he was still in a, um, a a trial about money laundering, right? So this mm -hmm. isn't just something that he like woke up and decided to do. He probably has a long history of unethical behavior. Um, but to to go that far to to have her her murdered, thankfully it didn't transpire that way, and he was caught. But I, think about it though. He probably didn't even want the kids. Like he probably was doing this out of a position of power. Mm -hmm. Right. Wanting to get back at her, wanting to spite her. And you, we've seen that all too, too well, especially people in positions of power. Right. Trying to exert their power and their authority. And um, in this particular and case, this is someone who knows the law, who mm -hmm. knows the consequences as an attorney. Yep. But he still took that path. Yeah, I mean, obviously he thought that he could get away with it, mm -hmm. and uh, he had enough enough money. To and that's when you think you're smarter than everyone else. Mm -hmm. Precisely, and I think that, you know, if you get caught in a murder for hire plot, you should get a life sentence, mm -hmm. as that's if you it. did uh, murder somebody, because had it not been an undercover agent, we don't know what would have happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, so, and so for those who may be on teetering on the edge, with a situation like this, what would you tell them to pull them back besides listen to Tupac? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it, it's difficult, but, you know, I would say try to find somewhere quiet, meditate, mindfulness, you know, in these situations, you have to be aware of your thoughts and your surroundings so that you don't do anything rash. And Man. of course, I'm thinking you have to think about those children you if children are involved. Definitely. Because do you want your mother? Or do you want them to live without their mother and their father? Right, right. Mm -hmm. your, your thoughts on I someone mean, who... Find somebody to talk to, right? Find somebody to talk to. Because if, if she gets you that hot and, you know, to de-escalate, hopefully there's somebody in your ear that can hold you accountable. Right. right. We want to thank you guys for joining. Whatever you do, don't do this. A crucial reminder here, help is available. If you or anyone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the phone number there on your screen or simply text the word START to 88788.
Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.